So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to import a 3D character. But before we do that, let's create a surface that we can put the character on. Let's just scale it a bit. There we got the surface. Let's bring it a bit bigger. Okay, so on mix some of Mix um there we go. Okay, we'll just log in to Mixamo. Okay, then we download the character. Uh drag your character into the scene. Okay, then you drag your character into the environment. As you can see here, uh, here's your character. Okay, now if you click on the character in the higher hierarchy, you can see that it has a rig. It's been rigged already. So if you go here, you can check your rig. But you need to change it to a humanoid. Ragdoll helper. You can search ragdoll helper. So here we go, we got the ragdoll helper. And we're gonna add it to my assets to package manager and in my assets search search ragdoll. Let's import it. Click on our character, then we go to B Z Soft and Ragdoll Helper. And we just go, we leave all the settings as it is here. And then we create. And there we go, you can see it. Create the ragdoll. With one click, you just create the whole ragdoll. But there is a problem here at the bottom with the feed. So the way we fix that is we go into, we go through legs. We go to the legs, and here we remove this box collider. And on the right foot, we remove the box collider. Because we can't change the rotation of the box collider. So what we have to do is we have to add an empty, then add a box collider and just we can rotate it here. And then rotate the box collider to be, let's just change it into isometric so we can see if the box collider is at the proper angle. We just straighten it. Then we change the size by clicking on edit collider. And we'll just go down, push it a bit up, move it closer, move it closer. Let's go to the top view and push it like that. Play. There we have a red doll. To make it stand up, we need to make the rotations. Make it stuff the legs and the arms and the chest. We need to make it stuff. So the way we do that is we have to delete the character joints. So you click on all of these. We can have to select each part of the rig and connect it to each other so it doesn't so it falls apart. So that's, uh, I think, the difference between a character joint and a configurable joint. Configurable, you need to connect each part of the body. So what we do is we connect the hips to the left upper leg, connect the right the upper leg, and the spine one to the hips as well. So it's the hips 
was the hips to the upper leg, the hips to the left upper leg, and hips to the right upper leg. Okay, so the so the upper leg. So you connect the left leg to the left foot, and you connect the left leg to the left upper leg, and you do the same for the right foot. So the spine is connected to the right arm. Then you connect the head to the spine as well. Okay, we already did that. Then you connect the right arm to the spine one. Then you connect the right arm to the right forearm. So on. So we do that, we do that, so everything is connected now. Now when we play, we should see everything working. Not working, but and and it ain't all. Okay, what we need to do now to fix that connect everything. The spine, the right leg. Something is missing here. We need to say the motion, the Y motion lock. We need to lock all of these. And there we go. There we got another red ball. So that's all we needed to do. We needed to lock these motions. So that just locks. I think the red next. Okay. So. Next, we need to make it up, stand upright. So the best thing to do for that is to use the angular X drive and the angular Y drive. So we just put this to say thousand, thousand, and now we will see that it's a bit stiffer. That's the spring. It's a bit stiff. So the head still has a character joint. Let's just add a configurable joint and connect that to the spine and let's see if it works. Oh, we still need to lock it of the motion. So it doesn't fall off. To make it stuff we need to what we need to do is lock the rigid body constraints and we love freeze x y z and the let's just see what happens when we play there we go standing okay let's play around with it we have to add a cube So you see it moves. Okay, so that's how I did the the ragdoll. So we need a script to make it walk. I'll link the the script. So this is you making a procedural walk cycle. So what we do is we drag the upper leg into the right. So we're ending the right leg and the left. Whoops. <laughs> Oops, you lady. Okay, there's a little bit of a problem. Rotation speed, let's put this to one. Rotation switch interval, we need to change this as well. Okay. So there we go, it's walking by the rotation speed, let's increase it. Basically, it's walking. But this is the best I I got. Some people can do much better than this, but this is where I where I'm at. So if you don't wanna go to um to find the script, you can just get it here. 
can just look at the others from ChatGPT. All right, thanks.